So today's video will be about the dichotomy between freedom and connection. Now this is a subject that I have taken personally from a video by Teal Swan and she said that humanity has a choice between choosing freedom or choosing connection. And this, uh, this debate or idea was spurred by the 2020 lockdown when people's freedoms were taken away. The freedom to move, the freedom to have their own personal choice about what they put on their face or put in their bodies, but also the freedom to connect which puts a bit of a monkey wrench into everything because this kind of proves that freedom and connection are not mutually exclusive but they are uh, interactive, interdynamic, essentially. So when people's freedom to connect is taken away, does that mean that their freedom has been taken away, or that the connection has been taken away. It's neither, because it's both. Now, we all have an ample opp opportunity. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not drunk. Um, just woken up. Um, we all have an ample opportunity to connect on social media online but you know in the real world we're not really connecting we're just talking into a screen and for those who watch the screen and resonate I guess that's called the connection but it's more to do with um, talking and sharing and, and being authentic. Whereas freedom is the freedom to do whatever you want without impunity, unless, you, of course, you bypass uh, and uh, uh, wreak an infraction against the law or something or whatever. It's good coffee. I would highly recommend more coffee. But essentially, with freedom, you get the dark side of freedom, and the same with connection. You get the dark side of connection. And once you evaluate the dark sides of both freedom and of connection, then you can establish for yourself which you would prefer. So the dark side of freedom is, of course, isolation. You're so free to do with whatever you want that you become completely isolated from the rest of the world. And you become like a voice in the wilderness, a bit like my YouTube channel. Not many people watch my shit. I mean, it's great shit, but, you know, there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of unrecognized, well, not a lot, but there is such a thing as unrecognized genius in this world. And then the dark side of connection is, of course, attachment. When you overly connect with people, when you try to sustain a social network and have power and influence and prestige and status, then you're prone to an excess of what I call material attachment. And that attachment becomes parasitic and suffocating. So I guess it's about establishing the balance between having the right connection and the right amount of freedom, you know. You can go over, overboard like a rebellious teenager and be an anarchist. That's a sort of excessive expression of freedom, you know. Um, so yeah, just thinking, of, you know, socially and um, politically and philosophically about these concepts that are age-old 
and they're now morphing into something even more pressing now in this un unfolding age of information, technology, etc., uh, etc. Et so, you know, for instance, you know, there's the freedom of speech. It's a double-edged sword because you get uh, Twitter, which was being censored by the left uh, a lot um, during 2020 and 2021. It's uh, the censorship of freedom of expression and freedom of speech, which is ironically a form of fascism, even though it's coming from the left. And then you get Elon Musk saying, no, we're bringing it back and no more uh, censored speech. But is that a ploy? Is that a ploy to just, you know, harvest more information from people to see what they really think? So, you know, the uh, big tech becomes in itself the thought police of Orwell's 1984. You know, all you have to do is say a few words, have an opinion, and automatically the cloud or the eye of Sauron knows who you are and what, what you think, you know? Before you even think it now, <laughs> you know? Is that freedom or is that the appearance of freedom, you know? Um, it's like that film, The Adjustment Bureau, when, you know, those agents say, you know, you don't have free will, you just have the appearance of free will. You might have free will of deciding, you know, when to brush your teeth or like little personal, personal micro things like that. But ultimately we decide the big stuff, you know, and that's scary, you know, but it's not because most people want things to happen to them. They want, you know, like the Bond villain says in the last James Bond movie, people want oblivion. People want to be told what to do. They don't want any um, autonomy, responsibility, accountability whatsoever. They just want to be, just tell us what to do, give us our paycheck, and then we'll be on our way. That's it, you know. Thinking for yourself and independently of the common rut, of the common rut is uh, frankly dangerous, you know, and it has been, you know, and it always will be, you know, no matter what form the political arena takes in the coming years. So, um, even just having an alternative view to, uh, for instance, um, transgenderism just because you have an alternative opinion people will automatically attack you and accuse you of hate speech even though you simply disagree and have an alternative opinion it's quite insane actually it's it's not sane it's insane so the world is insane and the only true value of life now is is actually turning on oneself and the spotlight is now turning on the individual you know and it's pressurizing forcing the individual to make his own choice and say look what do you value do you believe in freedom are you still a bohemian? Freedom, beauty, love, truth, <laughs> you know? Because if you value those ideals, then that kind of makes you a, a sort of a neo-bohemian, I would say. You could say, yeah. If you want to put a label on it, I would identify as a neo-bohemian, you know? There's so many identifications nowadays, you can call yourself anything. <laughs> it's hilarious. So, yeah, do you value f uh, your freedom? What kind of freedom do you value? But also, do you value connection? But what kind of connection is that? Is it on social media or is it face to face? Is it um, organic, tribal? You know, get specific about these things. You know, freedom and connection ha are their own giant umbrellas, but under under those. Um, um, umbrellas, there are so many different 
aspects and facets of freedom and and of connection like what kind of connection do you want you know i want connection with healthy people who are on my wavelength and who get me you know be it online or in person you know and if no one understands me then you know that's that's their problem you know so gesundheit <coughs> me so yeah that's the connection i want you know if we vibe we vibe it needs to be flowing and you know if our connection is forced and superficial then that's not a connection you know it's simple as that you know, I shouldn't have to be made to feel like I'm treading on eggshells around another person because that person is so suppressed and superficial, for instance. I would like to be open and free and talk freely, you know, about what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling um, with the other person to the extent that that information is not exploited or abused or used against me. You know, that's not a connection. That's... Uh, that's just a bad relationship, I suppose. So get clear on what kind of connection or relationship you, you want, you know, within work, within life, within friendship, family, lovers, anything, you know. And the more you know what you want, the more you actually the, the anxiety goes away. And you're like, well, this is what I want, you know. If it's not aligning with what I want, then it's not for me. Uh, you know, life is a process of elimination not uh, acquisition because once you die you can't take anything with you you know but you can leave behind um, all the good things you've done and the impression you've made and when it comes to freedom what kind of freedom do you want do you want uh, well I for instance want the freedom to be myself you know, to be my own person, to have plenty of time and space to myself, and to be financially free, you know, it might seem like a pipe dream, but, you know, we can all be that if we just put our minds to it, and stop getting pulled by distractions, and, you know, just freedom, freedom, Emotional freedom, expressional freedom, it's so important. Otherwise, you suppress everything, and then you get things like cancer and stuff because you're not expressing yourself. Why do people not express themselves? Because they don't feel like they're in a safe environment to do so, where they can be authentic and not be retaliated against, you know, um, unconsciously, subconsciously, or even consciously. <laughs> so, you see what I'm saying. Uh, you have to get very clear about your own vibrational values, what you want. And if, if it's forced, if you feel like you're compromising your essence to please or placate the, the threat out there or the dinosaur out there, it's not a safe environment it's toxic and you have to move on for your own sake and sanity you know yeah i'm a great teacher you know i i'm teaching all of this gold advice but do i apply it in my life i guess once you lead by example that makes you even more credible you know, or like Alan Watts, you know, he had it down. He, <clears throat> he was Mr. Cosmic, you know, he knew everything. <laughs> what did Alan Watts not know? And he was a great teacher. But in the end, he just turned to alcoholism and died early of, you know, just drinking too much, you know. After all that wisdom he imparted, all that indispensable beautiful, cosmic, universal wisdom. Yeah. Did he apply that on himself? I don't know, not really. 
But, you know, I will, uh, don't like the C word, commit. <laughs> commit. I'll try to commit. I'll do my best, do my best to commit to applying this wisdom to myself as well. So that's what teaching by example really is. Yeah. So, yeah, ideally, although what I want is just to pe people to apply the knowledge and the wisdom and it doesn't really matter what I do with it as long as you, you do it yourself because it is objective, universal wisdom. So... There we go. Freedom or connection. Or a bit of both. They're intertwined, ultimately. Uh, the freedom to connect and the connection that is implicit in freedom. For to be alone is to be all one. Ultimately. Well, there we go. As always, be free. Have fun as best you can. Have faith in whatever it is. And as always, may the Force be with you. Take care.